I am a huge fan of 3D and VR, which is why I have a complete Virtual Boy collection. But I can't help to wonder, was Red and Black really their best options? Well, I am the Game Collector, and this is Second Opinion Games, and today I do the review of Perfect Moon VR Edition for the Oculus Go. Second Opinion Games. Perfect Moon VR Edition is an action platformer for the Oculus Go. Actually, maybe more of a puzzle platformer, seeing that the goal is just to collect a bunch of diamonds, and when you get all of them, you reach the end of the level. It's simple and fun, but you do need a gamepad to play this game. Chances are you already have one, even if you don't think you do, because if you have a Nintendo Switch controller that's Bluetooth, or an Xbox One controller, or even a PlayStation 4 one, well then you already have one that works totally fine with the Oculus Go. And you really do need those precise controls to navigate through all the levels. Now I'm not saying this game is overly hard, because the learning curve is just right. It starts off with very ridiculously easy levels to make sure you fully understand how the game's played. And if you ever played Mario Galaxy before, you would fully understand gravity puzzle levels. Yes, gravity is a huge part of this game. And not because it's always pulling you down, it's because sometimes there's spheres that you have to run around, and depending on where you're at on the sphere and how big the sphere is, gives different amounts of gravity to your character. Now, this will play lots of tricks with your brain as you try to figure out how to maneuver your character around the world with the gravity pulling you inward non-stop. Also, the controls seem really complicated when you do this, but like I said, the earlier levels really helped train your mind in order to basically do it just right. The controls here overall are very simple. It's basically just the left and right and a jump button. And then also another button that makes you glide. Now, if you glide really, really well, you can make full circles with ease. And that's pretty much it. Dying, well, there's no lives here whatsoever. You basically just go until you can get the mission done. Which is something that I really appreciate because, well, I don't die very often. But when I do, I tend to die again and again. And that's because of one-hit kills which I'm also really fine with because the game never seems to be too frustrating. The learning curve, like I said, just perfect. And the music seems to fit every level. Sometimes it's tranquil. So tranquil that it nearly puts you to sleep. And other times it's this weird retro 80s intense style. You know that Stranger Things seem to have made really popular and it's a bit all the rage. So the best part about this entire game though is that it is completely free. Add on how much fun and how much time you're going to actually put into this game, and you pretty much have a must-have for your Oculus Go. But that's just my opinion. Thanks for watching. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. I had a great time making it. I'm a huge fan of 3D and the Oculus Go in general. So if you want to see more videos in this shortened format, just reviewing simple games like this, well, let me know or just stick around because you know what? I'm going to keep doing them. So until later, I will see you again, guys.